You know, I've been asking you what you think of when you hear the word faith, and I've pictured faith biblically as sitting down in a chair, not just trusting theoretically that it could hold you, but sitting down in it. And in fact, we've mentioned biblical faith as trust, commitment to God, and specifically to God in Jesus Christ. We've talked about how to have faith in God for whatever it is we might want God to give or do, and we've talked about covenant faith, but the next idea or consideration would be, what are those things that covenant faith ought to and can produce in our lives, and what are those covenant realities we might have faith for? In the Old Testament covenant, there were some very practical provisions of God, and those were often connected with fulfilling God's purposes and plans, and were tied to obedience and faithfulness to the covenant. In the New Testament, where Jesus is talking to us in Matthew 6 about not worrying and making our chief concern all those practical needs that we have, and he's not telling us not to, not to address them, but he tells us to set as our top priority, to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and those other things, those practical things will be added to us. But we also find a lot of spiritual provision, things that the covenant relationship with God in Jesus brings us and things we might have faith that God would increase in our lives. Some of these things are the righteousness of God lived out in our lives, freedom from bondage to sin and walking in darkness, the presence of God and peace with God and the work and moving of the Holy Spirit of God in our lives, empowering us to honor Him with our lives a guarding in our faithfulness and Christian walk, the grace of God to stand in and walk well in, joy and peace, wisdom for dealing with trials and growing through those trials, and more. But there are also future things that that covenant faith will produce, that rounding out of our salvation when we stand complete in Christ, that resurrection life permanently when Jesus comes back if or, or when we... When, when Jesus comes back and either we are raised or we simply go to be with Him. But that resurrection, eternal inheritance of presence with God in His perfection of a blessing for us. And so, three things I want to mention about this covenant faith for and the things God wants to do. One is we need to understand those thing God, things God wants to do in the lives and through the lives of those who are in covenant with Him through repentance of sin and faith in Jesus Christ, and then pray toward and for those things in faith. A second thing we need to do is continue looking to Jesus, Hebrews says, the author and perfecter of our faith. So it's about faith in and faithfulness to Jesus. And then finally, faith in part is anchoring all of life, soul, self and eternity in God through Jesus Christ and surrendering all of that to God in Jesus Christ and letting God's will and glory and agenda drive all of life. Take care for now.